off rip, I was not sure exactly how I wanted to begin this video, but I knew that it was a video that needed to be made. And that's not even to say that I'm like the pioneer of this type of video because there have been plenty of videos explaining in great detail why people do not like Rory Gilmore. And when it comes to Gilmore Girls, I'm usually the main person who has almost nothing negative to say because there really isn't for me. I genuinely love this show. I have loved this show ever since I discovered it and it has been my comfort show for many, many years. It's just, this is just one of those things besides April. It just really bugs me. Rory had so much potential and it all went to the dust. Let's start this off with a disclaimer. In this video, I am not attacking any of the actors themselves. This is purely going to be all about the characters. The characters, the characters. I am not making this video with the intent of hurting anyone's feelings. If you're new here, this is a series that I do on my channel where I talk about why everybody hates certain characters so much. Characters that are pretty much notoriously hated by most of the fandom. And that does not include everybody. I'm sure there's people who still love Rory and there's people who would fight me over even mentioning that there's even a slight smidget of hatred going towards this character. So I would like to take that as an opportunity to remind everyone that just because you disagree does not give you a right to be disrespectful. If you feel that this video may trigger you, I highly recommend that you go check out one of my other videos where I am not talking about Rory Gilmore. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So <laughs> let's begin the video. So let's first begin with the fact that there is a clear distinction in the fandom itself on what they mean when they say they hate Rory Gilmore. There are two different types of Rory's. There's the Rory that we first met in season one. one. Deeper voice, very sweet, very endearing into her books and then there's the Rory that begins to form in I believe season four. That bob I swear for me i feel like that's when rory completely lost me when she got that bob which was very cute ironically enough that is when everything went to sh and season four is about the time where i usually start the show over from scratch like i try to pretend like the last seasons did not even happen most people don't even talk about this but rory's voice is actually much different in season four and many of the seasons after season one than it is in season one fiasso and chili fries it's quite a refined palette you got there. You know what's really special about our relationship? The total understanding about the need for one's privacy. I mean, you really understand boundaries. I call the fireflies. Do they need troop leaders? Yes, good. I'll be a troop leader, great. The only catch is, it's summer. Camping season, I need wilderness skills. And yes, I'm aware that there is barely a difference, but for me personally, like when I finished this series the first time and then I went back and started it over, I was like, why is her voice so much deeper and it's not even a thing like not liking deep voices I mean listen to mine you're listening to mine right now I have a naturally deeper voice it's just like I didn't realize just how drastic the change was and it just hit me like a truck but that's obviously not one of the reasons why people hate Rory Gilmore that was just something that I noticed and I feel like I've seen a bunch of these types of videos that dissect Gilmore Girls and I have yet to hear anyone really talk about that and if people have then you know obviously that's just me not having seen those videos but in my experiences I just haven't seen any videos where people talk about it anyways back to the point the main issue with Rory was that many people expected her to grow up and be this big scholar and have all this ambitions and be this model citizen Rory seemed to be on the right track I feel like this is one of the things that aided in her downfall but one of the weirdest things for me was when Paris did not get into Harvard Paris had been actually giving Rory pointers on how to get into this school so for her not to get in not only was it shocking but it also felt so out of place and I understand not everybody gets into Harvard just because they have good grades and just because they have Paris's resume but it just felt so wrong and Rory getting in and her not getting in for me just felt so undeserving I was like why is she why why like that's the only thing I could even think to myself was why 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 and even with them bringing in this little backstory about how like Paris during her interview had been like nutting up and going crazy like I, I do see how that would get you not into Harvard but I think this is one of those things where I'm just mad because she didn't get in because she just seemed like the perfect candidate but this was not when the hatred for Rory started to bubble Rory started to lose a lot of the fandom when she was dangling Dean and Jess's hearts in the palm of her hand Rory was trying to have a hot girl summer and Dean and Jess unfortunately were the victims in the situation really for a lot of people it was about her not breaking up with Dean knowing that she was fully in love with Jess even after making out with him at Suki's wedding she still did not break up with him 
And I'm not saying that Jess was completely innocent because I think they both hurt each other a lot. And that's a whole nother type of video that I would like to make about their relationship. But just as we were trying to forgive Rory for all that she had done with that whole debauchery, just as soon as we were trying to let up on her, boom, she sleeps with Dean, who is married, by the way. And this is where as far as Dean's character goes, and that's like a whole long video. I personally cannot stand the character Dean because... I just feel like he was a complete tool, especially towards the end. But this ain't about him today. It's about Rory. Not only does Rory go and sleep with Dean, then she pretty much takes almost zero accountability. She then hops into a complete relationship with Dean, even after all of the drama and all of the heartbreak and all of the people that she's hurt in the process. She tries to call Lorelai out and say that Lorelai's one mistake is the exact reason why she has chosen to make this mistake by sleeping with Dean. That is one of the main reasons why people have chosen not to like Rory as a character because she takes almost zero accountability for a lot of the things that she has done. Also, let's talk about how, yes, Rory and Paris' relationship did start off in a very negative way and they were not friends. But after a while, they clearly became friends. I mean, they even lived together at one point. And while Paris is up here defending Rory's name to the cross, Rory is telling everybody that they're not even really friends, which always has, has irritated me so bad about this show when it comes to that relationship. Paris has defended Rory on multiple occasions when it came to her own other friendships and when it has come to her relationship with Logan. And let that bring me into my next segment, happily, okay? When I talk about Logan Dunceberger. One of the most interesting things I have seen when people interact within the fandom is people like lusting over Logan Huntsberger. And I've also seen people comparing like Lorelai's boyfriends to Rory's boyfriends and trying to say like, oh, well, this person that Rory has dated is actually a lot like this. Like this is her Christopher. I can't stand Logan and I can't stand Christopher because they are basically the same character in different fonts and not even that different. It's like literally it's like Times New Roman versus that other one that kind of looks like Times New Roman as well. I don't even know the name of the freaking filter I'm just telling you they're the same person because just think about it Christopher was young and loaded with money and making stupid decisions as Lorelai has mentioned many times before and Logan pretty much does the same thing most people who like Logan also like Christopher which is mind boggling to me and I bring up Logan not just to get off subject and go on a tangent about how much I can't stand him the reason is because with Logan came a whole new set of problems came Rory dropping out of Yale Rory Stang dropped out of Yale because she because she felt like she had to prove a point which I, I do get is also a reflection of her as a character but it almost feels like he manipulated her because he knew that the only way she was going to be able to stay with him long term was if she kind of conformed into this housewife no job socialite like his mother I think that in that moment where they're sitting at the bar he really intimidated her and made her feel like she had something to prove to him that she could be this pretty much this bad one of Rory's issues actually was that she had the same thing that was working for her also working against her. Her confidence. Yes, she was confident enough to try to attempt a career in journalism and to work at Mitchum's firm. However, she was not confident enough to keep going even when she had minor setbacks. One of the reasons why I will not completely condemn her and I will let her have this one little itty bitty bit of sunshine is because Rory falls under the gifted child trope. You can see how much pressure Rory was under not only by the actual other characters in the show, but by us as a fandom. When we first met Rory, we automatically started to realize that she was pretty smart for her age. In the episode where Rory gets hit by a deer and in the episode where they go visit the Harvard alumni, we can clearly see that Lorelai is not pressuring Rory to get into these really good schools. I think subconsciously, Rory realizes that a lot of people are counting on her. I think she also sees that people naturally expect her to be a lot better than she's come from. And that alone puts an enormous amount of pressure on her, even if she doesn't realize it. Even if we step out of the Gilmore Girls atmosphere and we look at a different show called Little Fires Everywhere, you can see that the character Lexi is one of the main siblings to lash out at the end from feeling this overwhelming sense of pressure to be perfect. Let her go after her, do something! Let her chase after Mia. They deserve each other. Mom, please! You think Izzy's the fuck up in this family, but she's not. I am. I used Pearl. I stole a story to get into Yale. I wrote her name down at the clinic. Mom, I got pregnant. I got the abortion, not her. 
And I mean, I tried. I really tried to tell you everything. There's all of this pressure to be all of these things, to be fucking perfect, but I'm not. I'm not fucking perfect! Yes, you are! And while I do realize that that is not the type of mother that Lorelai is, I still believe that Rory might have felt an unspoken amount of pressure because she was looked at as a child prodigy. So is Rory completely canceled in my book? No. I actually would not completely cancel her. She's not my favorite character. Do I think that Rory is very privileged to be in the position she's in? Do I think she can be very hypocritical? Do I think that she has a lot of annoying qualities? Yes. I'm hoping with time, Rory will finally overcome the things that work against her, such as her ability to pretty much not accept the word no. And also not knowing how to thrive in spaces where she is not being obsessed over. I think in the future with lots and lots and lots of cozy, cozy therapy, I think she can work through a lot of her issues and hopefully, eventually, she will not be the most hated character. If she does manage to turn around her life, if they ever bring the show back, by the way, if anybody on the Gilmore Girls team is listening, bring the show back, okay? We want to watch it. We're not going to ignore the episodes. We're not going to not watch it. We want to see Rory finally turn into this great person we're all hoping that in the end that's who she's going to turn out to be that's literally the last thing that she has at this point working for her for those people who are trying to give her just a little bit of hope so with that being said I have to acknowledge that there are many opinions floating around about this character so if you have one yourself please keep it respectful but list your opinion below what do you think about Rory what do you think about how she could possibly change in the future you think about why people don't like her I've enjoyed making this video as I've enjoyed making these other videos and I cannot wait to keep making more. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.